I have a first impressions video to share with you guys today. Um, as you know, since becoming vegan, I have tried to find um, foundations that work for me that don't contain any animal byproducts and that are from a truly cruelty free company. Before I was using like Revlon, Color Stay, and stuff like that. And um, personally, those foundations, even back then, I thought they were a little too thick for me, like they were a little too full coverage. And I think full coverage um, doesn't really look good on my skin anyway. Um, I feel like it just ends up looking kind of cakey and unnatural. And I think that kind of draws more attention to the fact that you might have problem skin if you are caking on a lot of makeup um, to cover it up. Um, I like I like foundations that are very light and easy to blend and are somewhat moisturizing without making you break out. I have been using the Stila One Step makeup and I do enjoy that. I don't think it's quite the right color match for my skin though. It's a little too full coverage for me and I still... I still see some of my acne scarring coming through when I use that product. It's a thicker product, especially since I have to put powdered foundation on top to have an airbrush look to my skin. I decided to try a new product. Um, it's one that I've been recommended by one of my subscribers. I believe it was Jancy Pants. Um, she recommended this tinted moisturizer for me. Um, it is a completely vegan product. I like to be able to recommend products that um, have less chemicals in them that are more natural that are more natural and better for your your body because you don't want to have a lot of chemicals if you can help it in your makeup so if you can reduce that especially on products you use every day um, that's a really good strategy to take with your makeup that's why I've been switching to mineral powder foundation instead of um, pressed powders um, because it just requires less ingredients all around and I really like what it does for my skin so the tinted moisturizer that I'm using right now, and I just got it today, I tried it out for the first time, so I'm doing a first impressions video. Um, I will update you guys and let you know if it breaks me out or anything, um, but it is the Kiss My Face Tinted Moisturizer, and as you guys know, I really like this brand of products. They are completely cruelty free. The owners are vegetarians and are very much into animal rights. I really hope they end up signing with the Leaping Bunny soon because they totally should. They're a great company. Um, and they've never tested on animals since they founded their company. So um, I really like that and I do try to support companies that I feel are morally superior. So this one was relatively affordable. I did get off eBay. I think it was like $7.99 and then I had to pay for shipping. So I think the product itself, if you can find it in a store, runs anywhere from like $8 to $10 depending on what store you get it from and where you live and stuff like that. But Overall, it's a very affordable product for the amount of product you get. You get 1.4 fluid ounces, so it's even more than um, a traditional foundation, which is usually only one fluid ounce, so that's really nice. Um, it is a little watery. I'll show you the consistency here on my skin. Um, it does come in a really hygienic little squeeze tube, which I really like. Um, I don't like pour top bottles. I think they're really messy, and yeah, especially for a thinner product like a tinted moisturizer it's good to have a little tip like this but yeah as you can see it's very it's very kind of runny but it covers pretty well I'll show you that and this color is in manila this works really well for you pale ladies out there see how nice that blends in and it does have an SPF in it it's not a huge amount of SPF you will want to either follow up with um, a powdered mineral foundation with SPF in it or you'll want to use an SPF underneath for the summer but I wanted to use a lighter coverage especially since during the summer and spring when it gets warmer out if you wear a heavier foundation it kind of gets really oily and uncomfortable feeling I wanted something light and easy to wear with an SPF in it and show you the ingredients I'm going to if you want to pause it and read these go for it I'm gonna put these up here so you can see them Let's see, it says right on there, product does not contain animal ingredients. It contains no animal ingredients, no artificial colors, and was not tested on animals. So, kaolin, which is really, really good for those of you who suffer from acne, because um, what kaolin does, it kind of um, draws impurities out of your skin and kind of controls oil. So, um, I think that's really nice to have in a tinted moisturizer, for, especially for combination people and people with um, oily skin. 
Compared to most foundations or tinted moisturizers that I've seen, that's a pretty small list of ingredients and I mean that's really really great that they're at least trying to have a more natural product for us because it's really hard to find um, quality um, liquid foundations and tinted moisturizers that don't have a bunch of preservatives uh, or parabens in them which this doesn't have parabens in it which is really really awesome most foundations do most liquid products do so that's really great if you're concerned about having parabens in your makeup yeah I really like this packaging um, it's recyclable too which is really nice oil and fragrance free for you sensitive skin ladies out there and I am impressed with the coverage on this um I'm still wearing powdered foundation on top of it I thought it would make a nice base for my powdered um, foundation which it really really does um, it evens out redness really really well um, I use my I use my elf stipple brush with it today um, I think it works really well for this product um, since it is kind of liquidy, you do want to use a brush to stipple it in. I feel like your fingers might make it a little too streaky if you try to apply it with that. But with the stipple brush, it works really, really well and covers amazingly. Um, I didn't have to touch up a bunch. It blended really well, um, which is something I, I really look for in a foundation. I want it to be as easy as possible. I don't like to spend like 10 minutes on my foundation. I just want it to be easy especially for summer and spring. I wouldn't say it's super moisturizing, so if you have really dry skin, I don't know if this would be for you, um, you probably could moisturize prior to using this. I think if you used a moisturizer in conjunction with this product, you would be just fine. Um, you Combination Ladies is just perfect for you because um, it's, not, it's not drying, but it's not super moisturizing, so it just kind of balances your skin. I don't feel any oil breaking through, and I applied this about two hours ago. Usually, um, a good test for me is if, it, if I feel oil starting to break through within a couple of hours, um, then I might have a concern about the foundation, but to be honest, the, I don't have any of those problems with this. I haven't had to touch up with powder or anything. It just adds a really nice natural finish to my skin. I'd say it's like light to medium coverage on me anyway, which is like my favorite kind of foundation. If I really want super full coverage, I will use my concealer prior and then just use this on top because I feel like that is the most natural looking coverage is when you use concealer in conjunction with a light to medium foundation. Um, at least that's what I've discovered for me anyway it's, and it's what I enjoy. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a bunch of makeup on my face either. So um, if I wear a really full coverage foundation, it just my face feels itchy, it just feels really weird and it does cause me to break out since my skin can't breathe at all. Since it's so covered in makeup so I don't think there's a very wide range of colors like that's a problem with a lot of foundations I found so if you have super dark skin um, or a lot of like olive undertones or things like that you might have a problem finding a color match for this um, I will link in the down bar um, the website with all the shades on it so you can check and see if there's one for you um, but this will work for you super fair ladies out there it's not super pink based, it's not super yellow based, it's kind of neutral, it's kind of in the middle, which is exactly what I look for in a foundation. I do have pink undertones in my skin, but I don't want to overemphasize them because it makes my skin look a little more red than I would like. So with something like this, where it's more neutral, it neutralizes the pink, but it doesn't make my skin look super yellow either, which um, either way, it looks kind of weird. So this is perfect for me. It's a perfect skin match for me. And this is the shade, this shade is in Manila. You can see that. So, um, highly recommend this for you, fair ladies out there. This is a wonderful product, um, and I will update you guys and give you like a full review after I use it for a little bit longer. Um, I might do that on my blog, but I'll definitely let you guys know when I have that up. But so far, I'm really loving it. Um, very light, natural feeling coverage, perfect color match for me. Um, I really like how light it feels, I like how well it covers for how light it is. Um, I like that it's vegan and cruelty free, I really like this company. So I think I found like, I think this is going to be my new like holy grail foundation as long as no breakouts occur from it. I'm very, very excited about this and I hope you guys will check it out.